Hello, this is Mr. Kenyon Nola, and I'm going to help you guys find the volume of a pyramid using two solids. Number one, this pyramid, and number two, this prism. So these two have uh, two things in common. First thing that they have in common is that they have congruent bases. So let me take off the one of the bases for this prism, which this prism is actually a cube. And let me take off the base for this pyramid. And let's just put them right on top of each other. And look at that, they're congruent to each other. So the question is the volume. Uh, is the volume of this pyramid uh, equal to the volume of this prism? Is it half of the volume of this prism? Is it a third of the volume of this prism? Or is it a fourth of the volume of this prism? I'll give you guys a second to make your guess. There's a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this pyramid. We're going to fill it up almost to the top. Okay, so I say almost because uh, the base actually takes up some of that space at the top. So almost. Let's fill it up. And it looks like almost. Okay, let's see. Let's turn this off so we don't waste water when we're in a drought. I guess we're in a drought. I don't know. And so uh, we'll take the water, the volume of this pyramid, and transfer it into here and okay there's a fourth and there is the third so uh the volume of a pyramid is one third the volume of a prism so let's use what we learned from uh, our experiment at the sink to find the volume of this pyramid right here. This right here is the formula for the volume of a prism. But as we just noticed that a pyramid only takes one third of the space or a third of the cubes uh, fit inside of the pyramid. So let's just divide this by three. So here's your formula for the volume of a pyramid base area times the height or uh, from the bottom of the pyramid to the highest point uh, divided by three because it only takes a third of the, the space. And if you guys, one way to remember this is, well, if you remember that volume is always uh, the number of cubes and what number represents cubes? Three. So we divide by three for cubes uh so number of cubes that fit inside so now let's just use this formula it looks like this type of pyramid is a rectangular pyramid so let's find the area of the base of this rectangle or of this pyramid which is a rectangle so five times three is 15 and times the height which is uh the distance from the base to the highest point which is four and let's just divide it by three. Um, I don't want to make uh, big numbers, so let's make the numbers smaller. So let's see, 15 divided by three is five. And then let's multiply it to get some big numbers. And so five times four is 20 inches. And because it's volume, cubed. So there's that three again. So we divide by three because that's the same number that represents cubed. So 20 inches cubed. So here's your formula. Make a power card on this. Um, label all the parts. Base area. Uh, distance from uh, the base to the highest point of the pyramid. Uh, put this in your notebooks and highlight it. So that's the volume of a pyramid.